Hey guys, hope you're all doing alright. We could use some more wholesomeness right now, and Animal Crossing is the equivalent of rubbing a puppy into your eyeball. And if you missed the last episode, you missed out on a whole heap of wholesomeness. We created the island of Pickle, and <laughs> which I'm not sure if I regret or I'm happy about. So if you want to watch that, sorry I won't waggle my pickle at you, you can click the link below and get all caught up. <sighs> I already feel 5,000% less anxious. Right, I'm so excited to show you what I've been tinkering away at since we last played. Philly got himself a house. Look at this! I just spent about 28 minutes trying to type that out by the way, so I hope you appreciated it. It's got a beautiful blue roof. I'm no longer in a sticky tent. I'm gonna set myself on fire. It's like midsummer. No. Got my flowers. I actually kept a plant alive. I've been watering them every day. Hydrate my children. More. Got myself this crafting bench. I like that Phil in Animal Crossing already knows how to use more tools than <laughs> Phil in real life. Sorry, Dad. A birdhouse, which is existentially confusing because birds in this game live in houses the size of mine. So what the hell is gonna move into that? I don't know, I've just ruined the birdhouse for myself. I wanna burn it on the fire. Let me give you a tour. Uh. <laughs> As you can see. Slightly less impressive on the inside. I've not decorated it yet. Let's put the bed in the corner next to the window. So I opened the mailbox and Nintendo had sent me a mini Nintendo Switch. Look how cute. But is my character playing Animal Crossing? And is there a character in that playing Animal Crossing? And is there a character in that playing Animal Crossing? I just stopped thinking about these deep things. I really want to get rid of this camo bed. Look, my character is floating. So hopefully we can deal with that. I'll put the switch here. There's like nothing. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm just spreading everything to the walls of the room. I need a chair or something, man. Leave my bag of weed there. And I'm going to put my mirror over here. The mirror is actually the most exciting item in the room. It might not look like it, but it means that we can change my appearance. Mirror, mirror on the floor. Give me a more manly jaw. I think that jaw is actually more manly than mine. Right, what can we do? Give me that sweet quiff. Oh, that one's cute. It's like me with severe bed hair. Oh, that one's quite posh. I will only accept it if people call me Philip. That is what I'm going to look like after quarantine is over. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut my own hair. Seriously, it's already getting long. I'm literally going to look like Tom Hanks in Castaway. I am here for the ponytail physics. Look at that. Blong, blong, blong. Some people like boob physics. I'm into the ponytail. <laughs> oh, what a spiffy quiff. That's what I want to look like. That is definitely me. It's been 84 years since Phil opened this menu. Oh, we don't get any more eyes or mouths or anything. Also, I was right. Shout out to all the furries in the chat that chose that mouth. That was about, there must have been about 100 comments that were like, I'm a furry and I feel attacked. Now I'm going to keep the mouth. Face paint? What the frick is that? What? What? I have a face disease. These all just look like some kind of weird glitch. That is very Silence of the Lambs. Rub the lotion on my skin. That was my first attempt at a design. As you can see, the artist leapt out of me. I'm going to do a hard pass on the face paint. Confirm. <laughs> what was that face? Where's the smoke coming from? If there is no fire. It's Hazel home. Let me have a look. Hazel. Oh, yes. If Hazel has a cooler house than me, I'm burning it down. Okay, it's also pretty <laughs> sparse. She's got a table and chair though. What's going on, Hazy? Hey, you showed up, UniWow. I want to chat. Oh, hey. Why do I say it like that? Big news, I've officially moved from 10 Live. I got a house. No shiz. I mean, tents are cool and all, but I can fit way more stuff in a house. Plus, it finally feels like I actually live here instead of just roughing it. You're still in a sleeping bag though, Hazel. I feel like I need to buy you a bed. I love the clock though. I'm gonna rip that off the wall. Let's look at Lyman's house. Someone did some incredible art of me wanting to steal Lyman's tent. This was by Minty. Lyman's having a lovely sleep when suddenly he wakes up to a noise. Huh? This is my tent now, bitch. <laughs> that expression is so haunting. Actually, speaking of you guys, what the hell is your problem with pears? I had so many comments about how unlucky I was to have pears. You got pears as your native fruit. I'm so sorry. Still got pears, RIP. Bro, you got pears on your island. What's... Ew, pears. I, just... I had to click off <laughs> after you said pears are the superior fruit. Sorry, but you're wrong. Of course Phil got pears on his island. What does that mean? What's wrong with pears? I love a pear. Have you ever sunk your teeth into a juicy pear? You are missing out. Everyone with their peaches, just because they're shaped like butts, doesn't mean they're better. Oh, actually, there was one non-pear hater, which was Michelle. You got pears. I'm so jealous. Michelle, you can come to my island. Everyone else can go suck on a peach. Right. <laughs> Can we change my outfit as well? Oh, can you make yourself naked? I'm streaking through the island. Put some pants on before speaking to the small raccoon. There we go. <laughs> What's up? Congratulations on your new home. A home is sure to open so many new possibilities for you. I recommend you check into the offerings from Nook Shopping. That's good, we can hit the shops. I swear there's a way to, oh yeah, custom designs. I can put this on my t-shirt, you ready? That's cute. That kind of looks like my merch. Plaid, very Phil from 2010. Oh, I like the vine pattern. Yes. That's it. That's the one. I am complete. Lyman gave me this 
purple hat, Nutado, which is cute, but I don't want to cover up my newly styled quiff, so I think we'll leave it for now. Just let the quiff bounce free. Right, let's go see Tommy and see if there's anything he wants us to do. Oh, he's got a beer on the go. Shove that in his pocket fast. Hello, what do you want to talk to me about? What shall I do? Oh yeah, I'm gathering materials to build a new shop. So that's something I gotta do. I was also waiting for the museum to be built and it is finally ready. So let's go have a look at what is inside. Hello, what an intense face. I feel like he's gonna have a posh voice. Oh, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Aha. Could it be that you are Phil, the personage who chose the location for this tent? Immediately got the voice right. Now regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I'm determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So should you discover a new type of insect or fish, that went a bit of South African then, insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here, which is where you come in. What, what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display, but people, <laughs> but fossils too. There sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I was wondering where we could cross the river. This is exciting. I would bet my pin feathers this is a primitive plot to flush with the fossils I require. Sorry, saying that five times fast. Primitive plot to flush with the plot. I just can't hop over it. Silly you. I, <laughs> I have a solution. As audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Is he gonna give me wings? Because that would be wing credible. With wood gathered from pickle, you can make a lengthy pole. I bet you can. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. You didn't look that hard bloody when you were moving into the museum because look at all this I've already collected. I've been busy with my fishing rod. It's one of my favorite things Animal Crossing and I have caught some Beauteous beasts. Except for this one, which looks like an alien that is literally gonna hug my face and inject eggs into my throat. What, 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 what is that? Why is it here? What does it want? Stay away from my family. Still no better fish, so I don't have a Norman yet, but I'm holding out hope. So I can now give all these to Blathers, which is exciting. All right, I'm gonna give him the creepy sea butterfly beast. I don't want it in my garden anymore. I feel like it's gonna crawl up my nose. Make a donation. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? I'm gonna give you this beast. Hooty hoo, this must be a sea butterfly. Yeah, tell me if it came from space and if I need to be scared. Such mystery, such grace. Did you know that the sea butterfly's scientific name is Theocustoma? This illustrious creature is related to a snail. Oh, so it's like the inside of a snail with no shell. No, that would be a slug. <laughs> what is it then? It reminds me much more of an elegant feathered friend, the way it flies through the water. Take it away. Right, I need to Google what a sea butterfly is because I am freaking out. It's quite cute in real life. Okay, I take it back. I'm a hater. I want 12 sea butterflies. Right, we'll come back to this later. Did I order anything? You've got mail. Happy Home Academy. Ooh, congrats on your new home. Greeting from the Happy Home Academy. Our goal, we want to help you make your home the best it can be. I mean, it really needs help right now, guys. <laughs> a housewarming gift is attached. Oh, I got some shorts delivered as well. Right, let's get these shorts on. I mean, it is a tropical island. Need to get my legs out. I think the ideal universal housewarming present is a house plant. So let's see if they follow that theme. I learned a DIY recipe for a wooden end table. I'll take it. All right, let's go shopping, then we can get crafting. What's for sale, Timmy? Ooh, a lawn chair. I mean, I, I, mean, I need a chair. I'm gonna take whatever I can get. 760 bells is quite pricey for a lawn chair, but whatever. Thanks, bro. And then let's go over here. I <laughs> oh, garden gnomes freak me out so much, but I kind of want it. Shall I get it? It's horrifying, but I love it. Yes. I want a creepy old man on my lawn. Oh my God, the purple shorts are amazing. I need them. Yes. I think I'd quite like an outdoor bench as well. Let's do it. So that's all gonna arrive in the mail, so I can't have it right now, sadly. But we can get crafting. Hopefully no glitter faces today. Right, what can we make? Right, so I need that pole to get over the river. So I need some wood and a shovel. Oh, I've almost got all the hardwood for that, so that's pretty easy. That's the end table. Just a wood fest that I need. That's easy. I love I'm just running at full speed with an axe in my hand. Watch out, Lyman. Don't put your back to me. Just staring into my fire like some kind of creep. Work those muscles, Phil. <laughs> Good start. Chop, chop. No, that was the flimsiest axe ever. I only chopped once. Just need a couple more woods and we're ready to bake a cake. Let's craft. Oh, I can get my shovel. Yes. Now I can dig a hole to bury the bodies. My wood is too hard. I need it to be soft. Ah! Ah! No! Oh my god, get away, get away! No! <laughs> I'm hideous. Let's put the wasp nest in my pocket. I love that he's still smiling despite a thousand wasps just stinging him on the eyeball. Right, let me make my pole now. Oh my god, if I put that in my pocket one more time, I'm gonna delete the game. Right, okay, here we go. I got a pole! So now I can jump over the river. I can make the table as well. Yes! 
Hammer that wood. My house is gonna be glorious. Okay, I know it's a lawn chair, but I need somewhere to sit inside. So I'm gonna put it here. And then I can observe my plant. <laughs> now I was gonna move this and I'm gonna put the switch here against the wall. That is beautiful. Can I put the mirror on top of it? I'm literally gonna have an actual child right now. That is fantastic. Right, I'm gonna buy some medicine. I feel like Phil is in actual pain. Give me some medicine. My eyes all gammy. Emergency surgery on my face. Yes, that's better. So can we just yeet ourselves over this river now? Ooh, a fish. Could this be Norman? Not at that angle, it's not. You've got to get it right at the nose of the fish, otherwise they don't bite. Come on. Yes. Ooh. A freshwater goby. Time to go bye-bye. It's no Norman, but I'll take it. Yeet! Oh, that was... <laughs> that was fun. I am in unexplored territory. Oh my god! What is that? Is that a shark? Don't swim away, don't swim away, don't swim away, don't swim away. That's huge! Taste my rod! <gasps> come, come on! Nibbling. No! Oh! I pressed it too early! Right, let me find another giant fish. It's back, it's back! Nibble, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my God. What is that? A football fish? Is that an angler fish? Some countries call it a soccer fish. They are so cool and terrifying in real life. Look at that. I think these things are where the fossils will be. So let's see if we can get one. Ooh, yes. A fossil. These must be the natural flowers of my island. Pretty. All right, another one. Great white shark. I caught a dab. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. I mean, you can't blame me. What is that? Ooh, I thought it was a fish. It's a present. There's a flag. Where did these even come from? Is this God? Is this like the Truman Show? Wait, come back. Yes, <gasps> let's see what it is. A party garland that is going right on my wall. Thank you, Sky Jesus. Right, let's get back to blathers. Boy, do I have some gifts for you. Here's my fossil. Ooh, <laughs> indeed there can be no doubt. This is a fossil. It's an Archelon skull. I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it for now. Look, I just want to see how much it's worth before I give it to the owl. Take the skull of your ancestors. 4,000 bells? The owl can wait. I'm sure I'll find another one. The loan for the house was 99,000 bells, so I'm sorry. I'll take whatever skulls I can get. All right, last thing I wanted to do is Tom Nook said I can visit someone else's island. So let's see what happens. Hey, hey, welcome to one and only get with the disguise, Pickle Airport. Oh, it's you, good timing. I wanna fly. He's just gonna strap me onto his back and we're gonna fly into the sunset. This is exciting, I wonder where we're going. Maybe I'll find something that's not a pear so you'll get off my back. Dal. Oh, all right, we're two down and docked at the target island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar go. First time getting your pontoons wet on tour. Let me brief you on mystery island procedure. Oh, it's a mystery island. Okay, I can keep whatever I can carry. We're here. <gasps> Immediately seen something I don't have. Coral, that's exciting. Ooh, coconuts, we can grow a coconut tree. <gasps> There's an animal, are you stranded? Rhino friend, All right, let's go see them. I'm coming for you, hello. Dramatic entrance. Well, hello there, my name's Rhonda, you're Phil? Wait, you came in all the way from Pickle? You're definitely more well-traveled than me. I'm trying to fix that by touring new places like this island. Come to my island. Mom always says there's chance in magic encounters, so I'm glad we ran into each other like this. I'm glad I ran into you, Rhonda. It must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. This change of scenery is giving me a new perspective on life. I like it well enough, but... <gasps> Move to my island! Oh wow, that's such a great idea! Thank you for encouraging me. When I ran into you, I never expected to be invited to live on your island. I mean, not, you know what they say. Meet a rhino, ask them to move in with you. Unless you were just teasing me. Do you really mean it, Bigfoot? The more the merrier. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to start packing up. We got a new villager! She looks like a slightly psychic grandma rhino and I'm loving it. I like these purple flowers. Right, I'll get some of those. Oh, this island has pears too. I guess we're destined just to have pears forever. I love them. I don't care. I think this is another fossil here. Yes! I think we're done, Dodo. Bell bottom disco. This is stove top calculate. <laughs> Do you require assistance? Over. I feel bad leaving Rhonda. How's she gonna get home? That was fun, Mystery Island. It's party garland time. I'm gonna put it on this wall so my bed looks less depressing. Ah, oh, cute. Shall I display my flower as well? Where? <laughs> I think that is a definite improvement to my image. Another Prezi. Ooh, a globe. That'll make me look worldly and sophisticated. Hey, I should use the coconuts to grow some trees. I might put some here and then maybe one day I could have a hammock between them. 
And coconut plant. Pretty. Get in my net. A common butterfly. How plain. Right, BRB, I'm gonna give all of these fish to the museum. Later. Ooh, a yellow butterfly, the horror, the repugnance. <laughs> Why is he scared of the butterfly? Oh, he doesn't like bugs. Doesn't he eat bugs? He's literally steaming from his head. <laughs> we just need one more donation and then we can open the museum. Right, let's get on the hunt. That must be the biggest one we've had so far. Come to me. Chomp. Yes, here we go, come on. No, that is enormous. An olive flounder, show that bad boy off. It's almost bigger than me. Right, let's give this to the owl because I think that's everything for the museum now. Yes, huzzah, hooray. We have acquired the number of specimens required. At last we can submit our application to build a proper museum. Oh, oh my, I must haste and prepare the museum opening. There's so much to do, hooty hoo. Thank you very much. Uh, you're not gonna give me a present or anything? I just did all that work and you didn't even give me a present. I'm just your little biatch. Right, let's go put the globe in the house and then we can go to bed. Hope it matches the rest of the decor, which is coming along. Oh my God, that is snazzy. It's really HD compared to everything else in the room, if that makes sense. Tag yourself, hours of fun. Right, okay, it's time for bed, Phil. Put the bed in my pocket. Why do I keep putting things in my pocket? No. Oh no, I've ruined it. Ooh, oh, so I can move the house around like this. And there we go, another successful day. Get into bed, Phil. And... Oh, what is that like? Oh, there we go. Good night. So there we go, hopefully that was a nice chunk of wholesomeness for you. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. We might check in with Pickle again in the future. Also, YouTube is now telling me which of you guys in the comments are subscribed and which of you are not. So make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be replying below to lots of the subscriber comments. Also, give that little bell a ding while you're at it. It's fun. And I hope you're having a good day. I hope you don't get stung by wasps in your eye. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye.